My name is Mohammad Ubaid, working as manager sustainable business development and fostering employment and employability. Today I would like to take you to the journey behind the arrival of Green Button in Pakistan. But before that, what is Green Button? It is the first governmental run certification label for the whole textile supply chain initiated by Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development BNZ in 2019. Textiles, that is, improvement of social and environmental standards in textile industries, took an initiative called Sustainable Pakistan, under which we launched Green Button for Pakistan's textile sector. Therefore, we partnered with six textile partner factories, whereby we extended our full cooperation to build their knowledge and capabilities to fulfill all Green Button 46 requirements for due diligence and products. I am pleased to share that some of our partner factories have started producing green button label products for the European customers. One such example is Crescent Textile Mill, Islamabad. My name is Shirley and I am working as a head of sustainability in Crescent Textile Mill since two years. Crescent Textile Mills is 100% vertically integrated organization that was established in 1950 and uh, we can proudly call it as a pioneer of textile industry in Pakistan. In perspective of the uh, green button concept uh, that arrived, uh, we heard a news about the European Parliament law that was passed in the Germany uh, with respect to the due diligence act actually that all the importers have to be uh, due diligence over their products and for all their supplies must be transparent and uh, must be uh, providing a sustainable product within the Germany. Then uh, we had a conversation with the GIZ because GIZ was our uh, very uh, long partner. We contacted the GIZ and uh, fortunately they were also working on the green button. So in ba uh, back in June 2021 we had a very informal kind of a meeting with the GIZ team and uh, discussed uh, about the idea and of the green button that how what it is and what are the, its benefits and how we can basically implement the green button requirements within our organization. In October 2021, uh, GAZ kicked off, uh, uh, conducted a kicked off session over the green button project formally and uh, thanks to the GAZ that uh, they took us as a partner uh, for this green button project. The guidance and the different uh, meetings and questionnaires and different awareness sessions were conducted from the platform of the GIZ and uh, finally we were able to use the green button label in Jan 2022. So whoever is basically going to be uh, exporting the goods to the uh, Germany, they have to uh, maintain certain criteria that has been advised uh, in the uh, due diligence act that basically enabled us to qualify for the green button labeling once uh, we got all the compliances with respect to the green button then one of the customer uh, shibo which is uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, grocery store as well in the germany uh, we contacted them and uh, we con told them that uh, we are basically fully compliant with the green button and uh, you are also a green certified importer so why you are not basically going to use the uh, green button label so in the jan 2022 we started to use the uh, label of the green button this button is basically uh, a symbol of confidence and the trust uh, that is basically backed by the german government as well because the criteria are so clear and well defined that no aspect has been left unaddressed either it is related to the sustainability related to the transparency or like related to the safety of the products seriously in this whole uh, scenario the team of the GIZ was so competent and uh, they capacitate us in a very short time that we organized ourselves in a way so that we can claim this label. We started to communicate and uh, different uh, German buyers. Uh, and in this, I am also thankful for the GIZ, uh, whose team also is working uh, with us uh, in establishing connection with, with the customers, German customers as well, who are already certified green button. We are basically anticipating that in upcoming uh, uh, months and the years, 
the importance of such types of the labels uh, will be very uh, important for the end users and because uh, the German government by itself is backing this label then obviously uh, the market move will be from the government owned organizations and the awareness level of the buyers in the German market would be at a higher level in upcoming period and uh, will also ensure uh, the confidence and the trust of the Western world over the Pakistani uh, textile industry as well. Hello, my name is Bianca Saidel and I'm the deputy team leader of the Shia Set funded project implementation of the green button in Pakistan. Through this project we can support textile product manufacturers in Pakistan to improve their compliance with social and environmental standards as well as due diligence through the implementation of the Green Button criteria and at the same time help them to develop new markets and target groups. Engaging with the Green Button is so important for Pakistani companies because it's a German and European governmental label and the government does not spare to introduce and bring this label closer to consumers through all possible marketing channels. The aim is to get consumers to make conscious purchases and sooner or later only buy products that carry a corresponding label, the Green Button label. This combined with the German Supply Chain Act, which will come into force in 2023, will greatly change the purchasing behavior of retail companies and brands in the future. In order to play an important role in the global textile supply industry, and to defend this role, Pakistani companies should deal with the green button label at an early stage and set the course accordingly in order to secure their competitiveness in the long term. For this, I wish you all the best. My name is Ali Sen and I'm working as technical advisor in GIS at Pakistan. It is very important for us to keep our textile sector partner factories informed about what is happening internationally in the consumer countries. With the application of new supply chain acts in European countries, we believe that the business will not remain as usual for international brands and their supply chains in Pakistan. So one of the ways through which we could prepare them um, to cope with the future challenges is the introduction of Green Button. So we started approaching our textile sector partner factories for the Green Button and most of them did not know about it. However, they feel very excited about it. And after running only a few information sessions, um, we were overwhelmed by the response from the industry. Just to mention a few challenges, uh, it took some time for the partner factories to understand that they will not get any green button certification, but they will get an order from the green button licensed companies in Europe uh, to produce under the green button label. Besides this, some of the factories were surprised to see many of the international brands they are already working with in the green button certified companies list. And they were wondering why did the brands not approach them uh, for the green button as they were already meeting uh, the green button criteria. We are very happy that we are working on green button in Pakistan and we will encourage all the textile sector companies in Pakistan to work on Green Button.